you can do. And that, that you can do. Yes, and that maybe the, the, the not so expert people in the kitchen, yes. <coughs> dad and the kids, can right. do for mama. Yeah. First, can we talk a little bit about, about you and your mama? Yeah, of course. Okay, so we have a picture. <laughs> Explain to us what's happening in this picture with you and your mom. Okay, so this is from 1976. I was one year old. Note the Easter bonnet. Yes. Uh, very important. I was putting my whole hand into my mom's drink, and then she was <laughs> preventing me from drinking her Bloody Mary. Uh, <laughs> Look at her stylish. She's got this neck scarf. She's got this huge she denim like a model. skirt on. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. still gorgeous. And I think that it's not so much that she wanted you not to have the drink. She wanted to have the drink. Well, I'm like mother, like daughter. <laughs> but kind you of know, mommy. Get your hand out of my drink, kid. And don't eat my food. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, we have you with Thomas. And you two are like twinsies. We are. I mean, the most adorable. Yeah. Pear. I still remember when you were pregnant with him, and to see him growing up is just such, it's such a delight. He's so fun. He's really the, the great joy of my life. The great frustration, but the great joy as well. Of course. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. let's say you do want to make a meal. Yes. Forget brunch for a second. Let's do no. dinner. No, because this is what you have to do. You have to yeah. take the children, dad has to take the children out of the house on Mother's Day. Okay, In the morning. That. Yes. And so that mommy can have her coffee and read the paper or whatever by herself. Oh, I like that Mother's Day That's the present. That's the present. And then you come yeah. back and make her this really simple dinner, or you can make it for yourself, because honestly, that easy. Cooking. It is. Well, I was saying, even for the mothers that you know don't have a partner, don't have a husband, um, if you have a network of girlfriends, let's do it. Get together, do this, or your sisters or your cousins. Get together, make this meal together because it's going to be like Tracy Moore foolproof meal, right? Oh, like it's Tracy one, it, can make this, this meal. You need this. That's okay. It. You one need pan. the pan. Yes. Okay, so it's making? all one pan, and I'm going to make steak with asparagus and potatoes. Sounds that fancy. Sounds fancy. Sounds fancy. And a salad with a green goddess dressing. Okay. Because you're a goddess. Yes, we are. I don't know if you're green, but you're a goddess. Yes, um, yes. yes you are. Uh, so you take a bag of potatoes, yeah. cut them in half, put them on a roasting sheet like this. Okay. And then 15 minutes in the oven. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're going to take it out of the oven and you're going to take your friendly flank steak. Okay. And you're going to plop that in the middle. It looks like a like a lump here, but you serve it sliced and so it seems even extra fancier. Oh, okay. Because if you went out and spent, um, you know, a ton of money on four steaks or something, you could be spending upwards of 40 to 50 dollars. This mm -hmm. was eight. Oh, eight dollars. Okay. And you're gonna slice it. I'm gonna Everyone's just, gonna get a good amount. So I'm just gonna do a quick little cross hatch on the top and then that's gonna go under the broiler and then the asparagus are gonna go on and roast with it. Okay. Now, just let me little show you a quick asparagus tip. One pan. One pan. Because look, like it's that. gonna end up looking like this. That's like a work of art as is, isn't I it? I know. That's I so feel nice. like I should take a picture. Kinda. But the asparagus is about to come in, uh, which means it's going to be local and we're yes. going to just eat it every day. Um, and, you know, I used to think that you had to take each asparagus spear and snap it like this. Right. You don't. Okay. No, look at it. it what comes, do you do? It comes with this handy notification on the bottom here. So you just take <laughs> your elastic. You just, exactly. You take your knife and you just cut above the elastic. That was easy. And then when it comes time to chuck those on, you really just chuck them around. And there's enough oil on the pan. Sprinkle them with a bit of salt, and it ends up like this. Nice. Then you take your steak and you give it a little slicer upper. So and then I'm gonna make a little do you topping. Know how long you're keeping that in there for? I am keeping the st the steak goes under the broiler for like three to five minutes. All right. And then you flip it and do another three to five. Okay. Uh, and then you slice it thinly, and then to just add a little extra whoa to this, I'm going to take a little bit of chopped parsley, take a lemon, because the dessert's going to have lemon in it as well. Ooh, so yeah. we're going to you know, marry these things together. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon zest in with this parsley. Oh, and I'm going to get it all over the joint as well. Okay. There's something about lemon that, I don't know, maybe it's because my mom loves lemon, mm -hmm. but whenever I think of Mother's Day, maybe it's because it's springtime, I just always want to have lemon in it. I, there's, there's something really nice and fresh about it. There, you can't really go it. wrong, huh? Ah, really so nice. small. And, and then you just take that, and then you can like sprinkle it on top of the steak, and it looks even extra super duper double triple quadruple fancy well it does look very fancy and it is very easy now then you're gonna make this green goddess dressing okay, okay so how do we make the dressing okay so it's parsley and tarragon and mayo and Greek yogurt blitzed up got it but listen here's the goddess secret okay now it's optional but to become a goddess there's yes. an anchovy in it Oh, stop it. I know. And it's optional. It's optional. I know because people are iffy about it. I'm a fan. I, I like, I'm I like the bite of an anchovy. And you know what? Honestly, you don't taste the anchovy when you when you get in there. Right. Like, and it's just so you have a goddess uh, dressing. And so you're Look a goddess. A salad, though. Okay, like simple Boston greens. Fib. And then just parsley right in there. I love it. Because there's parsley in here. There's parsley in there. There's parsley. I bought one bunch of parsley, and I don't want to leave it in the fridge. No, and you're very good about that. Use the whole bunch. Use the whole because bunch. you're going to put it in the slime drawer. 
drawer, and that's what it's going to become in a couple of days. So just use it. I know. Great recipe. Uh, we're putting this on cityline.ca so that you can do it at home. I'm going to try this. Yeah. Yes, I would. It's pretty easy.